think like anybody else, I'd be like, did I just give my phone number to an axe murderer? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was, like, I was like, well, Marcus has got an axe, but he's still pretty cool. <laughs> no axe. No axe in this room. Yeah. But, I know, I'm just I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> well, but you know what? The Canadian lumberjack thing, though, I suppose that makes sense, doesn't it? But I mean, that would, yeah, would, in retrospect, be more sensible for you of all people who have an axe. Basically, you're in a tank of yep. basically ankle-deep water with about yeah, a thousand... Of, like a special density or something <laughs> like that? Well, it's got a thousand pounds of Epsom salts in it. And okay, yeah. uh, it's heated to body temperature. <laughs> Gotcha. So you're in this tank that's soundproof and uh, d pitch black, and you have water that after about ten minutes it feels like you're floating on air because it's so uh, attuned to your body temperature. Though I'm going to tell you one thing that takes you out of the experience: touching your eyes, because my God, that stung like a son of a. Totally thought you were going to say when I farted. <laughs> no, but see. <laughs> I made the mistake right before that of having Taco Bell, um, which oh which I was clenching my asshole the whole time I was in the tank because they make you sign a waiver that says if you shit your pants in the tank, that's going to be two grand. And I'm like, oh my god, no. I have no idea why, but have you been to Tim Hortons? I have, yeah, actually I've been to, I've been to Tim Hortons before, yep. Oh, uh, now um, where? Uh, a couple of places. Um, in, I'm trying to think, Toronto, and I've been to Timmy Ho's in Vancouver. Ooh, okay, Timmy Ho's. <laughs> yep, that's, that's what I call him, Timmy Ho's. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of pe a lot of people do, Timmy Ho's, Timmy's Ho's, well, I think, and, Timmy's. And you'll get, a, you'll get a giggle out of it. So one of my issues when I went into to Timmy Ho's, if you will, <laughs> I go in, and, and let me see, I'm going to put this test on you. If I ask you... For donut holes. What am I talking about? <laughs> You're talking about Timbits. There you go. Yes. Okay. Now, is donut holes a word that's not used? Because the kid <laughs> who I asked was very confused. No, we call them Timbits in this country. Okay. E even if they're not at a Timmy house? <laughs> yes, because it's kind of like Kleenex. They're all the same. Gotcha. Okay, so maybe that's why he was confused. Because I was like, <laughs> no, in the U.S., we just use like you can go to the, the Dunkin' Donuts. And yeah. They have their brand name, like Timbits. Their brand name is Munchkins. <laughs> and occasionally, I knew that. Use that, but the generic term is just donut holes. Like, people like, really didn't know. Well, what yeah, because it's because it's kind of assumed it's the like if I'm making a circular donut, it's what's left. You know, like. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, no, we call them. I, I gotta say though, the, the Timbits are pretty tasty. <laughs> Put a yeah. lot more effort into them than the U.S. does. Like, cause, I mean, I, there was like birthday cake and like some other kind of crazy ones. Like, I remember when they came out with the birthday cake ones. Those were those were that was quite a quite a quite a thing. Uh, it's so laid down here. It's just like jelly frost, jelly powdered chocolate and glaze. That's it. Four lean, you know. <laughs> Lame flavors. Yeah, and we do. Creative with them. We uh, we do uh, ginger during the Christmas season and pumpkin spice during that season, and oh, there you go. we go yeah, pretty nuts up go. here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> do you know why it's named Tim Hortons? Hockey player. Absolutely. Do you know what team he, teams he played for? That I don't. I'm not, I don't follow <laughs> hockey. Okay. Or he played for the Toronto Maple Leafs and what, okay. for the Buffalo Sabers and tragically died in a car accident on the way from Toronto to a game in Buffalo when he was playing in 1974. So... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, did not know, oh, I did not know the tragic story of Tim Horton. Yeah, yeah, Tim Horton don't was... Tell me, this is going to sound horrible. Don't tell me you got hit by a donut truck. Uh, you know what? I, I don't know. I did not look into that much detail, but... Do you have Kentucky Fried Chicken up there or KFT? Yeah, I had some uh, last week. Yeah, I did. yeah, I ordered some last week. All right, so so here's the follow-up. It's not so much that I'm interested in you have it. I figured you would, but my question is, do you have the insane things that they're making for the Americans now? Like, for instance, what was it, about five, ten years ago, they came out with the Double Down? Yes, and I wanted to try one so badly, but they were only here for a limited time. Okay, so they did make their way up to Canada, then, Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, did you see the latest thing they're doing? Though? Which? Yeah, Kentucky Fried Chicken. The latest thing they're doing is they decided take a chicken <laughs> patty, extra crispy, and then sandwich it between, instead of bread, 
two donuts. Two glazed donuts. <laughs> oh my god, I felt that one in my arteries. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, so <laughs> that may be the next big thing heading to Canada is I've seen them doing that. And honestly, I had to stop the advertisement on, on the YouTube or whatever I was watching. I was like, is this a real thing? Is this like a joke? From the country that gave you deep fried butter, here comes a new KFC classic. Well, on the one hand, like, I was completely dumbfounded. <laughs> on the one hand, I'm like, this has got to be a, a joke. But on the other hand, it's like, okay, this is KFC, the one that gave you the heart attack special known as the double down. Like, get rid of the bread, let's use chicken and bacon. Like, whoa. And oh I god really, like and maybe maybe it's a big <laughs> joke i i've only seen it on commercials i've never physically seen it in a restaurant <laughs> and i swear there's like a marketing campaign on it and i i wouldn't be surprised if it's real <laughs> well i'm going to turn on my other computer because i want to actually take a look while we're just having the conversation okay so i'm seeing here from feb 2020 kfc is selling a donut fried chicken sandwich nationwide but it's talking about us and it looks yeah. like they're crispy cream donuts um oh my god that's the one but they don't have an official name like the first one was like the double down there's no official name for it well yeah it says similar to its test run you can pick up a kentucky fried chicken and donut basket meal which includes chicken tendies that are paired with one donut or in the case of the big basket meal two donuts so i really think oh, that it's it's I, just chicken tenders that you can choose to stick between donuts if you want Probably, probably the U.S. Surgeon General was like, you're going to kill people. Sell the donut with it, but don't sandwich it. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm looking at the big bucket here, and it's showing yeah. four chicken tendies and just two loose donuts. But oh showing that gosh. you can sandwich them together.